Hey everybody, it's John C. Morley with the J. Moore uh, Unboxing Channel. Well, we can't really unbox a Bosch dishwasher, but I can give you uh, a little bit of an insight to what it looks like when it comes out of the box or the crate. And then later on, we'll do a review. So today we're going to look at the Bosch SHP 88PZ55N-01. So the SHP basically uh, indicates that the model we have uh, actually has the pocket handle, which you can see right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. We'll open it and let's look at what you get here. So first of all, let's look at the control panel. We'll just push the on button here so we can show you that there's the on button. And you can see that there's some pretty neat, uh, pretty neat features there. Uh, you've got features uh, for heavy, you've got auto, you've got glass, You've got normal, uh, you've got uh, speed, rinse, tells you how much time it's going to take, delay, half load, uh, delicate, uh, sanitize, crystal, um, extra scrub, and then you've got your, uh, then you've got your start. So uh, very handy there, pretty easy. One thing about this particular dishwasher is you need to have finish. That's something that they recommend. I'm going to Try that out later and let you know how that works. But a little more about the dishwasher. So you have a start button here. So here's your you know, stainless steel. You have your place right here, obviously, where you can pop your uh, this little cab that you open here. You can put the little uh, puck in there. And over here, you'll see that this is where you're actually going to put your uh, rinse aid. Now, on the top, if you can see, there's actually two spots. I'm not sure if you can see one over here and one over here. So this one would indicate it would light up if there's a, an issue with salt, and this one if the rinse aid needs to be refilled. So take a look at the dishwasher here. First thing you get is you get a nice big top rack, perfect for putting your knives and things like that in there, uh, spatulas and whatnot. Your second is right here, and the shelf is actually adjustable. You can just hold this down and, uh, and basically pull up or push it, and then the, it'll drop down. You have to do that on each side. And then you have this nice little extension here, which is kind of neat. I like this. Uh, you can just pull it up, and you can actually clip it into place, and you can put other things on top of that. Now, because it has those three levels, if you look inside, you'll see that there's actually three holes back there. If I push this back in, you'll see they'll go right in, slide in, and there's your bottom level, okay, bottom tray. I like the way it has all the room. You have plenty of room to adjust. You can put plates this way, this way. Um, you have your ability to put stuff right in here, okay? Um, such as things, not your knives, but your forks, your spoons, etc. and just drop them right in the top, okay? So very handy. Just kind of clips right into that little, right, right into this little spot here. So really handy, very simple. And on the bottom uh, is actually to the left is where the salt uh, would go. And next to that is actually where uh, you take that out by twisting it, uh, as they say, lefty, loosey, righty, <laughs> uh, tidy. And that's where you will just uh, take that out and you'll be able to clean the filter, which we'll look at later. And then the back, if you see, in the very back of the dishwasher on the bottom, you're going to see there's a uh, little uh, triangle thing which is actually helping uh, with the drying. So the neat thing about this dishwasher is it doesn't use electric to dry your dishes like normal dishwashers. It actually uses um, a special element uh, from the earth, a mineral, and when you pass air by it, it uh, causes there to be no moisture and also to create heat. So really neat. Um, one thing about the dishwasher, that, which we'll find out later on, is how quiet is it? Now, when I close it, you'll notice, well, actually, it just beeped at me because I still have the power on, and it's just telling me that I never pressed the start button. But we're not going to do that just yet. But again, a nice little dishwasher. Again, we are looking at, this is the SHP 88P Z55N01. And uh, we'll be reviewing this uh, a little bit later in the week and actually let you hear what it sounds like. Um, and uh, we'll go through some other things about it. I hope you will stay tuned to the Jay Moore unboxing channel. Again, this isn't really an unboxing, but it's as close to an unboxing as we can do for a dishwasher because they just kind of come on a pallet. And uh, if you have a product that you would like me to unbox, simply visit jmor.com. Let me know what it is. Donate it to us, and we'll be happy uh, to unbox it. Remember, it needs to be something 
that is with technology, so something that has power, uh, something that uses uh, batteries, electric, solar, even crank power is fine, but it needs to do something. So sometimes I get people say, hey, well, can, can I send you a puzzle? Yeah, if the puzzle has something unique about it, uh, maybe the way it goes together, or something like that. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a machine. It doesn't have to be electronics. You know I've reviewed things like Dyson um, vacuums and stuff like that. Again, I'm John C. Morley from the J. Moore Unboxing Channel, and I look forward to seeing you real soon. But before you go, please do give this video a thumbs up, uh, a like, and hit the bell notification icon. This way YouTube knows to go ahead and uh, share it out to other people. Thanks so much for watching the channel, and we'll have more great unboxings real soon.